welcome, welcome, welcome to the next episode of Real Business Roundtable. Today, we're going to talk about having a growth mindset. When it comes to growing a business, how should you be thinking? How should you be looking at revenue? How should you allocate funds? It's about having a mindset around the continuous growth and 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 improvement of your company. Uh, one big thing that I see out there, Jake, is people adding an object that they could buy in exchange or e- e- the the equal value of something that they could purchase. For example, let's say, <laughs> let's say we, what? What are you gonna say? Let's say we're dealing with someone who's maybe a little old school, and they look at a hundred fifty thousand dollar Corvette. And they're thinking in their mind, I always wanted a Corvette. And you tell them, you say, well, if you invest that $150,000 into the growth of your business, that's producing maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars net profit. If you took that 150 and invested in the growth of your company, not comparing the investment amount to something like an object you could buy to kind of give you a little thrill. If you thought like, hey, I want to grow my business because I've been stuck at the same amount for the last 10, 20, 30 years sometimes. So you gotta kinda not compare things. I've had people refer to, uh, they compare like investing things in their business to like buying this, or I could do this, or I could take a vacation, or I could do a a trip, or I could buy a vehicle, or I, I can keep going. They'll kinda compare it to something. But that's something that you could buy is it going to produce more revenue? So you want to look at revenue, maintaining a growth mindset, look at revenue as seeds. These are seeds and these are opportunities for you to grow. When you get that, when you bring that revenue in, you need to believe in the ability to grow. So don't compare something that you're going to invest in that's going to create more revenue as oh, I could buy this, or oh my God, that's as much as this. I've had people compare what they're investing in the growth of their business to their mortgage payment. And it's like, it's a whole different ball game. So um, so just rewind for a second. So what's the actual topic? Today we're talking about having a growth mindset. So don't- okay, So we're not talking about like objectifying money. We're not, we're talking- Yeah, about- no, no, that's part of it. Okay. So people who objectify money, they compare it to something that they can buy. So yeah, that they want. And you got to separate that like your little joys in your life that you do. You also have your business investments too, that you need to make. You can't say, Oh, I could have done that. And uh, you can't think like that. You got to, and and then, and then you got to understand in business, you win some, you lose some, not everything's going to be perfect. And you can't be a crybaby if it's not. I've take I've taken enough as a small business owner. I've taken massive punches to the chin like a man. Just keep moving forward. You don't cry about it. You don't cry over spilled milk and move forward. It's all about the growth mindset. I mean, it's yeah. very powerful to have that. Um, and it all has to do with decision making. It's all it's all most of it is it has to do with decision making. When you're making a decision based off of, you know, purchasing something or investing money into you know, whatever, like I've actually done this before where this is an example of, of what we're talking about is, you know, I would, um, if I saw a pair of shoes that I really liked, right. And those shoes were two fifty to 500 bucks, whatever it may be. I don't, I don't remember the exact, um, shoes, but I would take that money and I'd say, you know what? I don't need those shoes right now, but I'll take that money that I was going to spend on the shoes and I'll put it in the stock market or I'll put it into something that can help me grow. I'll, you know, I'll, you, you know what I mean? Yes. That's one example. I mean, it doesn't have to do, it, it has to do with, with business. Obviously there's, you know, growth mindset to constantly have that, that growth goal in your head. So the decisions that you make and the things that you do forward from having that growth mindset are, are, are all going to be to grow, but also in personal life too. And this is a big lesson that I've learned, you know, from when I was younger is, you know, to, if you want to buy something and you have the money to buy something, don't buy that and put it in to a place where it's going to grow. Um, 
and that's just that's just smart money anyway i mean just you know what i mean yeah. and it's all about growth i ha i made a decision there i was gonna put it there yeah buy shoes i, I was gonna and i don't put know it into investing into my personal funds i don't know how to say this but like we meet so many business owners that we can see sometimes that if someone i don't know how to say it like if somebody everybody's different there's some people who didn't grow up with a lot and maybe no money, so there are people who scarce. there are people so the so that so when you're there are some situations where you grow up in a household that you know and yeah <laughs> i, I I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to be like careful with how i say this but basically you're used to not having a lot of money scared money doesn't make any money right this is the thing this is scared money doesn't make any money right grow you have to spend money to make money don't be you know in your business you want you want to have that growth mindset and you want to invest into your business in order for it to grow that could be time it could be money it could be anything but yeah. you have to have that growth mindset in order to be successful you, during every day you can't be a spectator it's interesting to me because we meet so many business owners and they'll be a spectator and they'll watch other people be successful they're like Right, and when you actually show them, hey, this is how you f do it. Oh no, I can't do that. That's too much money. But I want the success. I want all that growth. But in the same token, in the same breath, I don't want to invest. But I'm gonna go have this vacation and that Corvette and this stupid thing and these whatever. And like, you just see the lopsided mindset. Stop buying bullshit. If you're not happy with your sales, invest in your business. So invest like what I was saying business. before, if you have that $150,000 car that you want to buy, you know that you have that money to buy it. That's great. You've hit that achievement in life where you have money that you can spend. That's fantastic. But you're not done yet. If you have that growth mindset, yeah. you take that money and you put it into your business, into a growth plan, into something, something that is going to benefit the growth of your company. That's going to take your company to the next level. Now you don't have 150,000. Now you have 200,000. Yeah, spend just car. because you're paying, and then you do the same thing yeah, again. Just because you're paying yourself 40, $50,000 a year doesn't mean you made it. And so a you might be yeah. a small business owner. One second. Yeah. You might be a small business owner and you probably put 50 K in your pocket, but I see this. It's a poverty mindset where somebody, they hold every penny that they have and they're crippled and they just not literally crippled, but they're, they're crippling them, uh, their ability to grow and they're holding the cash, not spending it, thinking that if they spend any, a penny on growth, it's not worth it. I can't do it. I can't do it. But in the same breath, they're like complaining about where they're not happy, where their sales are at. And it's like, we're the messengers. We go out there and we tell people, Hey, this is how you do it. And you, it's actually kind of sad. Sometimes people, you can see that they go, they go crazy over money, like to a point where it is, it disables their ability to grow. And that's where you got to work on your mindset and how you think. Like when I make investments into my business, it could be X, 5X, 10X. I'm expecting some type of improvement. And one thing I'm going to tell you, you need to have the guts as a business owner to understand that sometimes it doesn't go as planned and you just move on, tweak, make a change, make an edit and just keep moving forward. You don't cry about it in the corner for days and lose valuable time. You adjust, find out why it's not working. Let's make an adjustment here. Let's make an adjustment here. Let's focus on the goal. Remember the obstacles Remember I said the soccer field, don't obsess about, oh my God, this didn't go the way I wanted. Shut up and focus on the goal. So whenever you're in business for yourself, you need to keep your mind on the goal. Keep your mind on growth, growth especially mindset. if you're not at the level that you want to be, you have to keep going. That's very, very important. And I, I wanted to create this episode because we see so many business owners that are putting a couple bucks in their pocket, but they just, they don't want to make the investment. Like they're just like, oh no, but they admire the people who have the success. Yeah. They'll throw out a couple uh, competitors names. Well, how does Joe do it? Well, I have to, Joe spends I, a lot of money. Yeah. I happen to know what Joe does. Do you want to grow? <laughs> yes or no? That, it's a very simple question. 
either somebody wants to grow, they have the manpower to grow, they have the ability to grow, they can facilitate that success, right? Can they invest in it? Can they handle it? Those are the big questions. But when we get into the investment side, sometimes people don't have the growth mindset. And the reason why it's so important to have the growth mindset is it will be the foundation of your ability to go to the next step. You got to stop treating money like it's like it's got power over you and prevent you from growing or make sure you structure your business so that the money doesn't have. Yeah. Power. Look at money like it's like it's like it's bricks, like they're bricks to build a, the business even more. You're building it higher, right? And those bricks. So you said like the stock market, you're putting it into something that's going to yield. Yes. You want to look at yield. So what's it? What is it for business? Advertising, lead gen, marketing, um, hiring, uh, uh, buying data, hiring good people, stuff like that. I get into the AI. You page. always go into buy, buy data, data. <laughs> buy the right data. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame you. Data is like a new it's currency huge. these days. It's massive. It's but but okay. It's it's huge, but, no, but seriously. Um, <laughs> Hey, you know what? I take a lot of pride in what I do, and that's why I mentioned the data. It's very important. It works, and I stand behind it. Buy your data. Buy that data. <laughs> D A T A. <laughs> we just came up with a jingle. <laughs> dun 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 dun. That's definitely for. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. But <All> right. but <laughs> nah. But 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 seriously though, it's like the whole point. And we've mentioned this from the beginning. The whole point of this 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 show is to to motivate people, to to get people to to be successful, to start their businesses, to to have that growth mindset. And you know, it makes me think like maybe we should have made the the podcast growth mindset, but we're not going to get down and, that. And There's I, a reason why. I, but I, I'm not. So I'm I'm a I'm a car guy. I love vehicles. I love performance vehicles. I love classic vehicles. I'm a, I'm obsessed with cars, but I don't put myself in the poor house and neglect my business because of my hobbies or things that I'm into. I have a little bit on the side. Okay. I can, I can spend this on my passions. So sometimes someone's passion, there's nothing wrong with having passions. Don't get me wrong. You could travel. You could. <laughs> You could. He looks at me. He <laughs> looks at me. You could travel. Let's say that's your thing. You could go on like these excursions or cruises, or you could just, you know, take a day trip to Maine, whatever your passion is and makes you happy. Have that little budget. You know what's really funny? Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. You have that little budget. So my my budget for fun stuff is I love I love performance cars. But don't put yourself in the poorhouse for your hobby or for your passion. Don't neglect your business. Make sure your business is okay. Make sure you're growing. Make sure you're investing in advertising, that you're investing in lead gen and stuff like that. I don't want to put down anybody. And I hate, I hate using the Corvette ex example, but I had a guy once yeah, it was compare the growth cost or the growth investment to buying a Corvette. And I was like, dude, you could buy 10 Corvettes. <laughs> You invest in building an infrastructure. That's how it works. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, we're the messenger. We don't we don't make the rules. All we do is we help our clients follow the rules to grow. Sometimes people don't like that. And and sometimes people will say they want to grow, but they don't have that mindset or the guts to make those investments that are required to reach those goals. So you just gotta you gotta look at yourself and look at how you think, and especially look at how you look at money. I look at money very, 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 very differently than I used to. You know, I, I want to say I'm, I'm like a frugal hybrid. Like I'm, I'm frugal to some extent, but then I like some nice things. <laughs> I like some nice things. You laughing over there? Nope. Oh, okay. Not listen, listen, I have like a good baseline of not being stupid with money. You're in the position where you've worked very hard and yeah. you've made a, a lot of money and you you are able to justify the spending of that money. Yes. That's 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 that. But I'm never, people I'm, I'm never I'm never like, I'm never stupid with your money. You're smart with, with your money. Yeah. Yeah, so that's 100%. the thing. I've seen some people freaking really do some real insane Money can shit. change people, bro. Dude, like I'm like, "Wow, you you, you could have bought like you could have bought like four houses or you shoot you could have bought an income property with that or you could have put money down on an apartment building or something that, you know, 
Wait, well, are you talking about yourself right <laughs> No, I'm talking about people that I know that had, that bought like some crypto and it exploded. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just blowing, blowing all the cash. Money's very important. And it, you know, it actually, you know what, just chatting, let's talk a little bit about money. Let's talk about yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, money, like it should be the money flow. Yeah, but, but no, so, you know, these topics that we talk about, like I was mentioning before, are very, very important to us. And we've noticed, he, you know, we, we've both had these experiences where if you look at the, if you look at those experiences from, <laughs> I'm lost. These topics are very important. You know, we have a goal with this platform and it is to motivate people, educate people, inspire, you know, inspire people based off of our experiences, our successes, our failures. And, you know, growth mindset is very important. You know, it has to do a lot about what we talk about a lot, motivation and stuff like that. And it's just another way of looking at it. Um, and so I thought this would be a great episode um, to have out there just so that people, you know, it's a mental that vibe. game. It's a mental game. hundred percent. You need to like literally flip that of, switch. You go in the mirror and just say, don't even yeah just freaking say i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do what i need to do some i meet some business owners and they're smooth as f i've had people just go like this and they're like all right let's go boom calm cool and collected is that the right word collected yeah sometimes they collective i make the mistake <laughs> so they're very calm cool and whatever collected collected and they're just like boom yeah and i'll meet with some people and they're like Oh no! Like they just like they, they're having an anxiety attack, and then you almost have to like become a therapist. And you're like, okay, there's a process to this. Holy shit, we're we're one day into this. Calm the fuck down. Like, do you want to hit these goals or not? Like they're just like, holy shit. Everybody's different, and as a consultant, if you're in a similar business as us, you have to do a little bit of coaching. You can't just say, hey, do you want it or do you, do you don't? You got to give people a little bit of guidance, maybe share some case studies, share some stories, give them some more reassurance that you have, you know, paved the way for other clients to reach mm -hmm. those levels of growth. But what I'm trying to get at here and the point of what I'm trying to say is everybody's different. Some people are boom, let's go. Some people are like, oh my God. And then there's people who are in between. They're like, yeah, I want to grow. It's, ah, it's kind of expensive, but you know, let's see what we can do. They're positive. I would say that those positive people are the people that are probably, maybe they were more of an anxiety type, but maybe because of track records and, mm -hmm. and, and reputation and experience, they're like, you know what? I'm going to make a, a smart move and I'm going to do this. So, but, With but the ones that don't, you got to guide them. You got to help them a little bit. With all that being said, it's all about that mindset that you have. You know, it's, you know, it's not even about, you know, marketing. It's not about all that. It's mainly about having that growth mindset, having that motivated mindset, having, you know, a strategic competitive mindset that is based off of one goal and that is growth. And that is very powerful. But Especially that, if that you're growth trying to requires an investment. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. 100%. Nine times out of out of ten, you got to do something. You got to either put in the sweat from your own time, which is not always ideal, or you need to hire somebody or implement some kind of technology or something that's go, going to, time or money. Yeah, time or money. That's what it breaks down to, and you have to understand that in order to grow, you can't just say you want to grow because anybody can say anything. Hey, I want a six pack. I want to do this. I want that. Depending on what kind of six pack we're talking about, since today is St. Patty's Day. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us today on the Real Business Roundtable. Please like, subscribe, share this video with others. Now, thank you so much for joining us today on Real Business Roundtable. Share the video with your family and friends. Like, comment down below. Turn on post notifications so that you no get notified every time we post a new video. And also check us out on Instagram. Thank you, you for find watching. info, updates, clips, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Peace out.